a titan appeared on the wall 100 meters high. Eyes radiated infiltrating light. It hasn't eaten a man in a hundred years. The titan lay on the wall and looked down. Finally found the human beings hiding there. Then it kicked the city wall violently with its feet. A few times a gap was kicked out below. Then, a group of horrible looking titans came in through the gap. The picture was really scaring. Humans quickly attacked titans with shells. But turned out those shells had no use to them. Titans slowly approached human beings and those scaring eyes made people shudder. The titan gently picked up a soldier and directly put him into the mouth and eat. Then the titan seemed to have come to heaven. And human beings were like lambs to be slaughtered. Aaron was running away with his girlfriend Mikasa. As a result a flustered crowd dispersed them. Aaron was taken to the shelter by the crowd. Mikasa sat on the ground in despair. Waiting for the arrival of the titans, suddenly it was quiet outside. Aaron quickly opened the door and went out to check. His girlfriend has disappeared and there was only a piece of blood on the ground. At this moment a noise came from the room behind him. As soon as Aaron looked back, he was completely stunned. Just a hundred years ago, Titan suddenly appeared and ate two-thirds of the surviving human beings. Three high walls were built to stop the Titans. And now the Titans have broken through the first wall. People could only retreat to the second wall to live. And in the next two years, the Titans never appeared again. But because of the loss of a large amount of land, more than half of the people were homeless and there was not much food left. If this continued everyone would starve to death. The government decided not to wait and die. So gathered a scouting legion. With their special equipment ready to take advantage of the Titan's sleep at night. Went out and secretly repaired the third wall. In this way, they could recapture the original land. And our male master, Aaron was among them. But the plan didn't go well. The Titans were awake and captured them again. Just as everyone ran away, a man suddenly appeared. It turned out that Titans had weaknesses. As long as the attack was Titan's back neck, it could be completely destroyed. Captain Shikishima killed the Titan with skillful technique. At this time another Titan was attracted and one familiar figure showed up. This Titan was finished in the same way. As soon as the girl turned her head, Eren was stunned. She was Eren's girlfriend Mikasa who was separated from himself at the beginning. Then, Aaron quietly found Mikasa. Asked her what happened at that time, Mikasa watched him and also showed her scars. She said that she only wanted to destroy Titans now. This was her only goal. Aaron left in despair after heard it. Now Mikasa has become the companion of the Captain Shikishima. Just as he cried out in despair. Another girl appeared in front of him and took him to a room. Asked him if he would like to be the father of the child. The girl's sudden action made Aaron totally lost and suddenly a huge eye appeared outside the room. It was Titan who happened to see the two hiding inside. The girl was dragged away by the Titan directly. The Titan appeared again and Aaron couldn't stand it at all. Looking at the world like hell. He got up the courage and put on his equipment. Turned on combat mode for the first time. Although not very skilled at the instigation of the captain. Aaron killed a Titan. Just as he continued to attack with confidence. He was bitten by a titan and threw out subsequently. One teammate on the roof was trapped by titans. Others tried to use sounds to attract the titans. As a result Aaron's best friend Armin was caught. At this time, Mikasa finally arrived. But now she was caught in a dilemma. Would she go to save Aaron or to save others? Finally she chose to give up Aaron. Seeing that Armin was about to be eaten other teammates tried their best to save him. But this titan was so strong. Ordinary swords and knives couldn't hurt it at all. But could only watch Armin to be put into Titan's mouth. At this time, Aaron tried his best to fly up in time. Pull Armin and then threw him out, but he was swallowed by the Titan. He fell down from throat and into the stomach. At this time, the number of Titans was increasing. There were few surviving teammates left. In order to save Armin, Aaron was swallowed by the Titan in one gulp. When Mikasa learned of Aaron's death, Finally, she couldn't stand any more, turned around, and began to attack the titans. As a result, she forgot that she ran out of fuel. Fell heavily on the ground. Then that strong titan appeared again. Stopping Mikasa's way drooling like a waterfall. Suddenly, its body changed. A pair of hands stuck out of its mouth. Then another titan burst out. There was a horrible red glow in its eyes. 
but what's puzzling was that it didn't attack humans. Instead, it helped humans attack Titans crazily. Watching Titans fall one after another. The Legion teammates showed surprised expression. Began to cheer for it. Mikasa frowned at this moment. The Titan's attack action was so familiar. She suspected that the red-eyed Titan was Eren. Before long, all the Titans were killed. Suddenly the Titan who was Eren rushed to Mikasa. Knocked down the building next to it with one punch. Mikasa knew that she didn't save Eren just now. Which hurt Eren's heart and she was willing to be punished. At this moment Eren's body began to gain weight. Eventually collapsed to the ground. Mikasa jumped on it quickly. Cut the back neck. It turned out that the real Eren was hidden inside. This was also the reason why the Titan's weakness lay the back neck. Then, the huge body slowly disappeared. Captain Shikishima looked at all this with a strange smile. That's the end of the movie. This film was adapted from the Attack on Titan animation in 2015. And this is a prequel to the series. The next one will reveal the origin of the Titans and the true identity of Captain Shikishima.